A rally held to discuss the diversity challenges within the Apopka Police Department. Fox 35's Larry Greenberg was there and has more on their concerns tonight. It was a small gathering here tonight, and the civil rights leader hosting this event, he called it a mobilization meeting. He says there will be more because the city of Apopka needs help. <laughs> This body cam shows the moment Apopka police say Jason Friend hit an officer. It led to the police beating and tasing him in November 2019. This was the first case in Apopka civil rights activist John C. Barnett got involved with. The second, oh, he's gay, he's gay. Helping the family of 12 year old Jameer Bradford, who Apopka police handcuffed and then released last month after accusing him of stealing a bike. Barnett says this city has a problem. There's always a problem uh, in cities like Apaca when I see that the race is not even. And race meaning, you know, the race of people. And I ain't saying that all the small cities are like that, that, that have more whites than blacks, but they are controlled is what I've been saying. Barnett held a rally for justice. <laughs> pushing for more diversity training among officers in Apopka and for black leadership to stand up. You have a city that's majority white, that have, have their uh, agenda in mind, and then you have black leadership not standing up. So it's, it's almost like we're fighting uh, two, two fights at the same time. The Apopka mayor says the city does not have a race problem. Our, our deputy chief is black, so I, I think that would should say almost all you need to say. I think we, we're doing um, everything and, and above to meet the you know, diversity needs of our community. He says when it comes to incidents involving police. At the end of the day, you know, the buck stops with me. Barnett says that he's reached out to the mayor several times and requested meetings to talk about diversity training and the issues within the police department. But Mayor Nelson says he's never received any of those calls. In Apopka, Lyra Greenberg, Fox 35 News.